Welcome to Did You Know, the student-made show with your host, Matt Vega. Here we discuss the interests and ongoings of the SYCSD community. In today's episode, we cover transportation throughout the district. So, did you know the SYCSD contract was for a student for 27 full-sized buses, 5 minibuses, 1 wheelchair minibus, and 6 9-passenger vans? The majority of students ride the full-sized buses, which average 57 students to 72 seats. Transportation Department transports 3,200 students to and from all five buildings spanning the district, reaching as far as Harrisburg. These buses are driven by 39 bus drivers employed by first students. The fleet of buses travels a total of over 2,900 miles each school day and over 530,000 miles each year for home and two school runs. Buses also travel over 30,000 miles per year between field trips and sporting events alone. As far as fuel goes, more than 75,000 gallons of fuel are used by buses each year. In an effort to save fuel, the district is starting to use small, fuel-efficient vehicles to pick up regular education students living in sparsely populated areas rather than buses. This saves money on fuel as well as time, since the smaller vehicles can travel easier than a large bus can. Each elementary school also has double bus runs. Double bus runs allow the district to use the same bus to deliver two busloads of elementary students. The double-run bus leaves the school first and drops off a full load of students near the school in two or three bus stops, then returns to the school 10 to 15 minutes later to pick up another load of students. Since both runs are short, children arrive home in the same time window as students who ride on single bus runs. So, did you know? The school buses are some of the safest vehicles to have on the roads. This comes as a result of the design of the buses, of course being highly visible, as well as safety features and strict laws pertaining specifically to buses and how other vehicles must interact with a bus. One of the features to make buses safer is the stop sign arm and how vehicles are required to stop when children are entering or exiting the bus. Another law says that buses control intersections, meaning that vehicles coming from either side of a road when a bus is stopped at a perpendicular road must stop. Violating any of these could result in a license suspension. The district also holds bus evacuation drills every so often so that all riders are familiar with what to do in the case that there was an accident. Each of the district's buses further has cameras and voice recorders installed to monitor the behavior of all people on the bus. Students, parents, and guardians are made aware of this prior to the start of each school year. This notice is also posted on the buses at the front of every bus. Coordinator of Public Information and Student Transportation, Mark Rill, further explained some of the safety efforts and safeguards put in place to protect student bus riders. In transportation, the safety of our students is our top priority. All bus stop locations must comply with specific Pennsylvania requirements for sight distance, distance to other bus stops, in order to allow the school bus's lights to be activated. So, did you know? Juniors and seniors can purchase a parking pass that allows them to park at the high school. The pass can be purchased before school starts in the summer, as well as any time during the school year. They cost $10 and last only for the school year that it's been purchased for. Students with a permit are not allowed to purchase a parking pass, only licensed student drivers. As of this year, at the end of each school day, all student drivers must wait until the last bus leaves the school to exit the building. This improves the efficiency of the transportation system as these buses have to return to pick up elementary school students after their high school routes. Student driver Emma Robert explains the benefits of being able to drive herself to school every morning. It's really nice to have your own car, especially if you have after school activities, because then you can just leave whenever you need to, and I really like having that flexibility. Thank you for watching this segment of Did You Know? Stay tuned for our next episode. There's one every month. This has been Mateo Vega, signing off.